Hello guys, this is Rado from Motherlings and in this video we are going to learn this effect. We start by creating a high definition render pipeline project and install all configurations. Update HDRP package to the latest version. Also, install the latest version of Cinemachine package and import sample scenes into your project. To keep our assets organized, we create a custom directory structure. Then we create our scene using Unity primitive objects. To manage lighting and fog, we need to add sky and fog volume. Also, in our HDRP settings, we need to make volumetrics high quality. In order to have the reflective look on our scene, we need to create a material and make it reflective by changing metallic and smoothness attribute of this material to 0.9. Then, assign this material to every object in the scene. We don't need shadows in our scene, and for this reason, set cast shadow to off in every object. If you are having the jittering effect, you need to disable receive SSR attribute in material properties. Let's work a little with the directional light in our scene. Enable color temperature, set temperature to double five double O and intensity to 20,000. Those values will simulate a warm sunset. We add bloom effect from sky and box volume and adjust values to fit the mood of the environment. From imported sample scenes of Cine Machine package, Open free look character. Upgrade materials to HDRP compatible material and test the scene. We need a cinematic look that is implemented in this example. Create an MP object, reset transform and drag third person controller, main camera and CM free look one to this object. To keep it organized, create a prefab folder and drag our object into this folder. Add the created prefab to our scene. In our main camera object, remove example help window component and in the third person controller check. Use character forward and look to camera forward. Then you may test the scene. To add more sunset feeling, we will import into our project HDRI skybox. The link will be in the description. After importing, change texture shape attribute to cube and max size to 8K, as our skybox is 8K resolution. We disable our main camera because our camera is inside our prefab. Let's add our skybox, but we need to keep the sound that is present on the scene. To achieve this, type should be physically based sky and also we need to check space emission texture, space emission multiplier and space rotation. Add our skybox to space emission texture, change space emission multiplier to 20,000 and adjust rotation to fit the environment. Resize the emitter of the sun to 5 to fit our scene. Add the planar reflection probe to make the character reflection of the floor and adjust position settings to fit the scene, then test. In our environment, we don't need to have the reflection of side walls. If you like them, you may skip this step. To remove the reflection of side walls, we created another layer named walls and assigned side walls to this layer. Change calling mask attribute on planar reflection to reflect only default layer and in this case only our character will be reflected. Also increase resolution to 1K. To export our gameplay from Unity Editor, we need to install Unity Recorder in Package Manager. After installing, open Recorder window to start recording. Add a new movie recorder and modify settings as per your needs. In this case, we only need to export in 1080p resolution, rename output file as you like and start recording.
After stopping the game, you may find the video in the location that is displayed in the recorder window. I hope you like this video, please like and subscribe and see you next time. Peace.